Um, brothers ask that we would share I'll be touching two meetings concerning the gospel this Monday night and Wednesday and pray that the Lord could all touch our heart I believe that we all are touched whenever we hear that the Lord has reached us of course uh, when he saved us he saved us to become his continuation even to be branches to have his increase to bear fruit and it is not just a duty that we have but it is uh, a privilege that we could be his ambassadors to share such a one to others I can't think of anything higher than to bring the triune God to another human being. Uh, I believe in one of the messages Brother Lee was sharing in Luke concerning the Lord as a man savior that in that book you could see the highest standard of morality. Here's one that could bring salvation to man. This is the highest there's nothing higher in the standard of human morality than to bring God to another human being. And uh, tonight I'd like to open up some of the uh, things I have been touched with from the ministry and from the Lord to unveil to us further the gospel is surely the Lord's burden. He's surely burdened for mankind, and we know the verses, of course. God desires that what? All men. All men be saved. Some of you have been born in the church life. How many here? So, this is really the Lord's mercy that you came right into the Lord's recovery. But there's millions that do not know the Lord. And here is our uh, burden that's given to us by the Lord. First, we must look at the triune God himself. I'd like to go to 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 2 and 3. Could we all turn there, please? Chapter 1, verse 2 and 3. Okay? All together. of the triune God bringing us into salvation we have the Father we have the Spirit mentioned and we have the Son of course the sprinkling of the blood is through the Son and it is this three the very triune God operating together as one to bring salvation to us and we can see this in the picture of the New Jerusalem that that city has three gates on each side, four sides. That means he is available to anyone. No matter what, what direction we may be from, there's these gates we can come to. 
And the marvelous thing about it is, because we have fallen, we could not hold any standard before we're saved. There's no street outside the city. So there was just God's mercy that there's no standard, you just come. And the very triune God becomes our entrance into this divine entity, the mingling of God and man. And it also says in Revelation that the gates are never closed. Our gates should never be closed. And you are being trained to be the gates. Not only the triune God is the gate, but you become the gates where mankind can come into this eternal entity. Everything outside, there is no blessing. Without, surely there's the lake of fire and no one wants to be there. So here in 1 Peter 1, 2, 3, it touches the very triune God himself. And of course, you also see this in Ephesians chapter 2, I believe it says, uh, through him, which is Christ, in one spirit, we have access unto the Father. The very triune God, through Christ's redemption, the spirit sanctification, both objectively before we have we are regenerated and to uh, and to be prepared for salvation and eventually access unto the Father Himself. And we see this also in Luke chapter 15. The picture of this wonderful triune God that indwells us today. As the sun shepherding to find the one lost, lost one. That one lost one is you and I. And there's many more lost ones. The very woman sweeping to find the lost coin. The lost coin surely is we. She had nine, but there's one. And she swept and swept. And this is a sweeping spirit. Then, of course, you have the receiving father full of compassion. Man is not only sinful, but became dead and lost. So when the prodigal does come back, it says, this son of mine was what? Lost, and he is found. And also was dead and is alive. So we come all the way back to the Father's house. The very trying God, that's the picture of Him. So we, as His duplication, we, the very God men, who do be filled with the very trying God, will have the same burden. As we're filled with Him, we become uh, like Him. The more we go on with him, the more this burden will grow and grow. So every day you'll be working with people, praying for them, uh, even weeping, shedding tears for them, that salvation will come to them. First Peter chapter 1, 2, and 3 shows the very operation of the triune God in bringing us into salvation. The first we might see that salvation did not start with us. Salvation started with the triune God, firstly chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father. In eternity past, God has a burden already for you and I. How much 